How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood transgender medical student and today we're going to be talking about inverse acne after years of taking testosterone as hormone replacement therapy for transgender people. I came up with the idea of making this video after looking through some recent articles on trans health and a recent study popped up where it looked at inverse acne also known as hydradenitis superativa and how it had manifested in two cases of transgender men undergoing hormone replacement therapy and they've both been going through testosterone replacement therapy for a number of years. I really liked that the entire study started off with the fact that there is actually not a lot of research on the skin changes and the unique skincare needs that trans people have when they undergo hormone replacement therapy. So that really brought my attention to it and after reading the article I thought it was very relevant for the knowledge of trans people to know about and that's why I'm making this video for your knowledge. So most of the internet including YouTube generally focuses on the skin changes we see in the first two years of starting testosterone replacement therapy as trans people but what skin changes do we have years on and that's what I really want to focus on even research like I've said before does not center trans people in dermatology research and the long-term effects of testosterone and estrogen on your skin and it's very different from the hormonal skin changes that cis people might experience so in this study that I looked at and I will link to the DOI of the study down below because I believe that the researchers deserve their credit uh, for publishing this. There's two cases of trans men who had inverse acne after taking testosterone for at least three years. And what is inverse acne? Inverse acne is a type of skin inflammation where there are bumps underneath the skin in areas of high contact, such as your armpits, your groin, your elbows, and even uh, your, the back of your knees. Places that rub a lot tend to accumulate infections and then drain pus. They may be painful sometimes. And there has been a link to androgens such as testosterone to the development of inverse acne. Now the two trans men in this study developed it after a number of years and it caused them pain, it caused them discomfort. So they went to the doctor and the doctor diagnosed them with inverse acne. Luckily, inverse acne is very treatable and for trans men, there's a different treatment regulation than it is for cisgender men. The two trans men actually benefited greatly from the adjustment of their testosterone for a short period of time. I know that having your testosterone levels adjusted sometimes brings on dysphoria. Actually, I had my levels drop recently and that gave me dysphoria for a little while, so I completely understand that. But modifying that those testosterone levels for a little while for that condition to go away and then getting back to the dosage that you are comfortable with is a great solution to inverse acne. In addition to that, I'll, both of them responded very well to finasteride, which if you haven't heard before, finasteride actually prevents androgenic alopecia, which is otherwise known as testosterone dominated baldness. So if you're a transmasculine person who has inverse acne, but also is experiencing baldness, finasteride can be a two birds with one stone solution. I also think it's very important for dermatologists to emphasize the fact that your trans patients peace of mind when it comes to them not experiencing gender dysphoria when undergoing treatment for hydradenitis superativa is emphasized. So you have to work with your patient to see what they're comfortable with. Some trans people might absolutely dislike having their testosterone levels lowered and that's very valid and the dermatologist needs to be able to work with that. So if you are the trans person watching this video thinking, wow, that is the thing that's underneath my skin that's been freaking me out for a while, definitely go see a dermatologist or look for resources to have free dermatology needs met in your specific geographical location and get that Treat it. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found this video informational. Please share it with someone who may benefit from this information and I'll see you all on the next video. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with me with my daily life and I'll see you on the next one. This has been